response when guys challenge him mentally. But get props to Obi for not technical. Shooting 77% from the stripe. Nice skip pass. And getting it up on the glass was Randolph, and he might have been psyched out by the student section counting him down. Here's Hibby Watson from downtown. Out of bounds. You got to know where you're at on the court. Here's Hibby Watson kind of playing that point guard role, bringing it up. Gives to Obi Tom and Dwayne Cohill out of Northeast Ohio. Sophomore for the Flyers. Back over to Watson. He'll drive it. Left hand. Book it. You know, but but Dayton is playing fairly well. But a couple things, areas of concern. The free throw shooting got five for ten, obviously. And then uh, the turnovers. They've got four up to this point. They want to keep moving the basketball and playing fast. They're starting to slow it down. They have more success getting up and down the court. Trey Landers on the elbow goes to Ibby Watson. He's going to the hoop. Pull-up jumper. Oh, my. Wow. Ibby win. Glass. First start with Jalen Crutcher out. And he has come to play. Dayton doubling up the Tigers as Flyers. You know, they're up 13, Brooks, but even you kind of mentioned it during that break. They're off. Yeah, there's something a little off. They're not playing with a whole lot of, of energy right now. Flyers in their offense. Meanwhile, one and one. And Kelton Edwards on the miss. will be topping. Able to grab the board, and Grambling going to show some full court pressure. Trey Landers, middle of that, finds Ibby, got bumped, hooping. For Dayton. This was a team picked to finish third in the Southwestern Athletic Conference. You said he's got an opportunity to be a 17 already in the first half. Instant offense, but starting here tonight, maybe some more energy, and boy, he's delivered. Yeah, he's making the most of it. Hands to Ibby Watson. He was five of seven from the field, two of three from downtown. Didn't miss a free throw. And here he's coming for some more. Ibby to the rack. Putting that thing up. Was able to knock it down. He's leading the Tigers with 12 points. And this game back to 10. Watson, corner three. He stays high. Still sit up 17. Um, like you said, way to answer the call and step up when their team needed him. Bramlin was able to cut it to 10. But Dayton back in a comfortable spot. Watson back with the ball over to Chapman. Eight to shoot. Ibby going to let it fly. And one. A four. In Louisiana, he's got an interesting connection as he knocks the free throw. Right there is what killed Grambling State's chances. Even when this game was, they cut it down to a 10-point game. But they're now two of 19 from three. And, and as we talked about earlier, one of the, the ingredients for an upset on the road is you, you have to efficient game. I mean, 8 of 12 from the field, 4 of 5 from 3, and now 7. In Ohio and Pickerington Central. And went to Mid Gaston, pull up. We got a foul. These guys are bought in, sharing their basketball, and trying to make each other better. Well, and to add to that point. They're the top in the country in field goal percentage, and it's because of their unselfishness. skip pass and getting it up on the glass was Randolph and he might have been psyched out by the student section counting him down here's Hibby Watson from downtown 